It's a little worksite test where we're dropping our bucket and unfortunately our tool or here our extension cord end is underneath the bucket. Can it withstand it? Well, not for the first design here. We didn't love the wiring or strain relief and it also failed the durability test. What about the $4, the yellow end? Much better from strain relief and wiring perspective. And we put the full pressure on lifting the front tires and looks pretty good. Made it through the test and on to the more expensive $11. Now you would expect this one to make it through the test if the $4 option made it through and we put full pressure on it, rolled it around underneath that bucket. And overall it came out really with just a few scratches. So first up, we're gonna go with this cheap looking orange one from Lowe's. It's about $4 and just has a single screw here that we'll undo with a Phillips head bit and I'll separate the orange housing from the yellow plug. Now the screw terminals are wide open and they just have standard screws and that's it. These will work okay with solid core wire, but not stranded wire. Needless to say, also the housing does not have strain relief. So you would be pulling that cord and it'd be pulling directly on the screw terminals. So overall, this is just a bad design and I do not recommend using this. So let's step things up. Let's put this one back and go to this yellow version. Looks a lot more robust and this is for Home Depot for about the same price of $4. We'll undo the three screws on the top, separating the plug from the housing. And this design is looking a lot more promising as it will actually pinch down on those wires as compared to that first one we saw. So not too bad. Now they are still wide open and exposed, which isn't always the best, but it is much more promising than the first one. So we'll go ahead and tighten those three screws to secure the plug to the housing and then use our number one square drive to cinch down the strain relief. And overall, it's looking pretty good. When it comes to cost, we're $4 for the no-go orange, $4 for a pretty promising one with the yellow. We're looking at about $11 with the next one, the industrial grade, and then all the way up to the new design, $13. The question is, do the features actually pay off? Is it worth going up? Here, the overall design strain relief is gonna be similar. And then although we do have better protection for each of the screw terminals, it is a similar plate design. The plate is more robust in there, but it's gonna be a similar design. So the question is on this $11 one, is it that much more durable compared to the $4 one? Now, what about our last option here from Leviton? Now, if these guys are wire nut equivalents, this version here would be similar to the Wago 221 lever nut. Now, extremely easy to wire up with these levers. All you gotta do is pass your wire through your housing. Make sure your stranded wire is twisted and then you can start landing white on white, your black hot, and then you're just closing down those levers. And then that is what is making your secure connection there's no exposed copper in there, very compact package. So overall, it is gonna be quite a bit more expensive than your $4 option, which I think is a very good option, but there are some definite advantages with the lever design. But I do like where this design is going. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of Wago lever nuts. This is a similar design integrated into this replacement plug. Now let me know down in the comments, what would be your go-to? I think I'm gonna go with the $4 yellow one. If the Leviton lever edge went down to maybe only two times the price, I do like this design a lot more and I might go with that version.